Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Michael Hart with Action Coach. What needs to pivot in my business, kickstart your day, get you refocused, because business is changing daily right now. What's going on? I am Dr. Michael Hartley. I'm a non-medical type of doctor, and today we're operating on your business. We're going to focus on the five areas for you to focus on to get to the long-term destination that you so desire. Whatever your destination point is, it is. The key thing is, is you got to know what it, what, where you're going. You got to know what you're driving your business towards. Why did you even open it? For a lot of individuals, they opened it because they didn't want to work for somebody else. And unfortunately, they just get stuck in that mode. And so they are always the technician in the business. If you've ever read the E-Myth, they're the doer. They're the person who is required to be there for the business to move forward. It's their name on the marquee. Potentially, that's you. Potentially, you're the person that has all the relationships with all the vendors and all the clients. Well, guess what? It's really difficult to build your business from without you when you build it that way. And so first and foremost, I really want you to focus on some of these rituals that the most successful people in the world have is they dream. They dream big. They don't dream small. They dream big. They say, what out there can I go achieve that I have no idea how to do it? We talked last week about creating moonshots for your business. A moonshot is something that you may have absolutely no idea how to go accomplish. So dream big. What conversations are you having with yourself? Are you doubting yourself all the time? Or are you saying, you know what, let's go get this thing. I have no idea how we're going to accomplish the dreams I've set out in front of me. You know what, though? We're going to go figure this out. And you work step by step by step. So dream big. When you dream, dream big. Don't dream small. There are enough people in this world that are miserable, miserable because they're dreaming small. Because they're not thinking outside of what they know. Because they hit a plateau point and then they became comfortable with it. You want to be ridiculously successful. And by the way, success is however you measure it. It's not how other people measure it. So for some, that is money. For some, that is status. For some, that is how much they can give back. For some, it's how much free time and freedom that they have. There's a lot of different ways that you can define success. That is up to you. So however you determine success to be, have you plateaued because you don't have an elevated level of that? Have you plateaued because you're not willing to put in the extra work to get yourself to the next stage or the next level? So many people stop just shy of what could become critical mass for their business and see that exponential growth take place. Dream big. Be clear on your dreams. Be clear on your destination. Be clear on what you desire to have in life. And whatever that is, it is yours. And then you have to choose that it is yours. It's one thing to say, this is what I desire to have. I don't want you to use the word want, though, because using the word want dictates a lack of. Well, I want this. That tells my subconscious I lack in it. So instead, it's I'm in the process of obtaining or achieving or whatever that may be. Choose that you already have it. It is already yours. That thing, whatever that is, it is already yours. We just have some learning and some planning to actually go put in place to accomplish it. So dream big. Make sure the conversations you're having with yourself when you're by yourself about yourself are the right conversations. Then we get to goals. So now that we have dreams, we want to understand what are the milestones? What are the major steps we need to put in place to get us to the point that we desire? And again, I may have no idea. You may have no idea the details needed, the detail that must be put in place to get there, we'll have an idea of some major milestones. What do these smart goals look like? Specific, measurable, achievable, results focused with a time frame. What are our goals, our milestones that we need to hit along the way? And again, if you set a dream, if you have a dream out there and you already know how to accomplish it, it's not a dream. It's a to-do item. You already know how to do it. Dreams should be things that you have to go figure out what to do and how to do it. So let's go create some major milestones. What are these major things along the way? Once we've set out, and by the way, you know, so for some dreams, it could be a short-term dream, something a little more simple. 
Maybe it's a year or two away. For May Dreams, maybe they're 10 years away. I'll never forget when my mentor, Brad, told me, most people overestimate what can be done in one year and underestimate what can be done in 10. So for you, your 10 year dreams may seem that they are not realistic today. And guess what? If you were trying to accomplish them with the current knowledge you have and the current team you have and the current processes and routine, probably not. 10 years from now, it's a very different story. So we're gonna set those milestones along the years, along the quarters to accomplish what you're looking to have. And again, the closer you get as you're planning those milestones out, because you always start with the end in mind and reverse engineer it, work yourself back. The closer you get back to today, the more detail that should go into it. Now that we have set these dreams, we've set some major milestone goals along the way. Now we have to go learn some stuff because as I just mentioned, if you already know how to do it, it's not a dream, it's a to-do item. So there's gotta be a gap in knowledge that we need to go close. And that can be through books, through podcasts, through mentors, through conferences and workshops, through coaches, whatever that is for you. And chances are it's going to be a, a variety of different modalities, different mediums to uh, help you learn. It's not just auditory. It's not just visual. It's not just kinesthetic. It's all three of those things working in harmony together for you to properly learn. Become the constant student. When I look at the two uh, mo most common traits, eh, three most common traits I see in the most successful people I know, they check their ego at the door. They remove that I know attitude. They become the constant student. They are the forever learner. And they do all of it with consistency. You see, when you set dreams and then milestones to accomplish it, and then you identify what you need to learn and the people around you need to learn to go accomplish it, that's where we want to make sure that you kick in the consistency piece. Because when you identify that you need to go learn something, you're, you're subconsciously checking the ego at the door saying, I don't know what I need to know. Okay, great. Now we're becoming the constant students. Now we need to consistently learn and surround ourselves with people who will help us push us towards those goals. And now we need to kick in that consistency piece because without consistency, true traction will never take place. So dreams, then we set goals and milestones. Now we're going to go learn a whole bunch of stuff. And we can help you with all of this, by the way. We have an entire library of over nine months of business education here for you to help get you to those next steps of learning. Then we get into the planning piece. You see, now that we've learned a whole bunch of stuff, now we can go plan it. Trying to create a plan without the knowledge you're creating a plan of, dis of, of dysfunction. When you try to create a plan without the knowledge, you are creating a plan of dysfunction. And so we must understand that to create a detailed plan for the next 90 days and then creating a 30 day sprint within that, we need some knowledge. We need some people surrounding ourselves that maybe have already accomplished this before or have a system on how to accomplish it. So, Put that in place for you. Understand that certain details don't actually matter and certain ones really matter. Certain things do and we must stop and make sure they are corrected. Other things we, what you'll realize as you grow, as you grow as a CEO and a visionary of your business, something that you will realize is certain things really don't matter and that's okay. The key thing is that you're putting the right things in place and the right priority on those right things to move those ones forward. So you're gonna create a 90 day plan and you're gonna create a 30 day sprint within that. And we help you create this every 90 days. All of our clients sit with us, whether virtually or in person, and create their 90 day plan for their business and then a 30 day sprint to start with. You see, when you want to accelerate your business, this is the type of focus and consistency you need. And then we coach them, meaning we hold them accountable to that plan. And, when, and for those that create the right plan and have the right action, get the right results. That's why coaching is so important because otherwise, and I've seen this over and over and over again, which is why I know it to be true, most people don't have good self-accountability. And so they create the plan and then they go off. And guess what? 90 days later, 
I've literally had individuals come to this workshop, create their plan. And then the next 90 day one, they come back and they sit there and they've literally said to the entire group, man, my 90 day plan for this quarter looks pretty much the exact same as last one. Question is, why is that? Well, a lack of self accountability. And so they don't actually do it, which is why coaching is so critically important. So create your plan. Now that you've set the dreams, major milestones to get there. I've go, we go learn a bunch of stuff. Now we can create the plan. And ultimately we have to have consistent action. We have to go then act upon the plan with consistency. And when you do that, when you do all of these things year over year, month over month, day over day, you start to gain traction towards your ultimate dreams. And again, you have this thing called critical mass where you have incremental growth to start with and incremental growth until your business hits critical mass. And you see that hockey stick curve up and it always happens with consistency. For some, it happens shorter and for some, it takes a little bit longer to hit it. You will hit it when you do these things consistently. Dreams times goals times learning times planning times action. That's the formula for you to focus on today. How clear are you on your dreams? How clear are you on the milestones to achieve those dreams? And by the way, as you grow, your dreams will grow with you. It's kind of fun. So maybe come back and look at this once a year. It's a good place to refocus, to say, okay, what have I learned? How have I grown in the past 12 months that have now elevated what I'm doing? How clear are you on the plan for the next 90 days? That 30 day sprint. And then how well are you at taking accountability to take consistent action? You see, you see things and you say why, but I dream things that have never been, that never were. And I say, why not? Look y'all, take it seriously because when you do, that's when you start to see the incremental growth turned into exponential growth as you build and as your business builds the momentum. I'm Dr. Michael Hartley. I'm here to elevate your business and enhance your lifestyle. Be clear on where you're going and then let's get clear together on how to get there. Bye for now.